Well, this morning, a call to action with Thanksgiving just three weeks away. Donations are very much needed to help ensure every family, child and senior has a warm meal to sit down to this holiday season. It is the driving force behind our 34th annual project Thanksgiving, a partnership between CBS 12 News, the United Way of Palm Beach County and the Palm Beach County Food Bank. So take a look here in the bottom right corner of your screen. You'll see a flow code that you can scan that will help lead to where you can donate. And keep in mind, if you do donate to hunger relief initiatives, like Project Thanksgiving, they're going to be able to stretch the dollar a lot further than you and I can at the grocery store. Every donation, big or small, goes to assembling boxes packed with all the Thanksgiving trimmings. And then through the United Way's network of over 100 local nonprofits, those boxes of food will land in the hands of those who really need the extra help this year. Our Kara Duffy has been leading this campaign for us for years now. She joins us live in studio highlighting one of those nonprofits that knows firsthand just how big of a difference your generosity can make. Kara? Well, Matt, Sam, this week we got a chance to sit down with the amazing team of volunteers over at Feeding Hope Village. Diane Lewis started the nonprofit back in 2016. It was just a small neighborhood food pantry at the time, serving about 25 families. Now it's grown into a community hub in the heart of Riviera Beach, helping hundreds of people every week. One of the ways they do it, weekly food drives. Diane says every Wednesday they have about 250 cars line up and roll through as volunteers load up their trunks with groceries to help them get by. She says more than 65% of those people are seniors struggling to live on a fixed income. As the need continues to grow, Feeding Hope Village now expanding its services to make an even greater impact in the community. So what we try to do, not just for the food, but to bring self-sufficiency to our participants. And when they come in, it's a one stop. So they're not going all over the community trying to find resources. Families can come and get services with Medicaid, Medicare, SNAP benefits. We can help with kids care insurance. And we refer um, our community to local resources. Feeding Hope Village is just one of the local nonprofits who will benefit from donations made to Project Thanksgiving. Diane says if it wasn't for this campaign and the community's generosity, a lot of the families that they serve wouldn't be able to have a Thanksgiving dinner at all. So right now, of course, a huge need for those donations. Hunger relief organizations can buy food for a lower cost through direct suppliers. So 25 bucks can provide Thanksgiving for a family of four. For more information on how you can make a difference through Project Thanksgiving, head over to our website, cbs12.com. Hi, I'm meteorologist Lauren Oleski for CBS 12 News. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.